Hello everyone, it's Angel from the Abernathy's Go Green and today I am going to do an unboxing and a review of the April Box Walla Box. I got my box about two weeks ago and I've been using and enjoying these products but I realized that I haven't done an unboxing video for you guys yet. So since it's Monday, we're gonna do this um, Mask It Monday style where I'm gonna tell you about everything that came in the Box Walla Box but also do a demo of both of the products that came in the box. That's why I am barefaced. So let's go ahead and get started. The April Box Walla Box theme is Letters to Winter from Spring. She picked two products that are both supposed to help the skin transition from winter to spring. They are both supposed to heal, soothe, and repair the skin, which are all really things that I can always use. So the first product here that I am going to apply to my face is the Malaya Advanced Repair Neem Honey Herbal Complex Mask. This mask is valued at $78, and I did pay $49.95 for this box and it is a bi-monthly box so you'll get a box every other month if you choose to subscribe. This mask has raw neem honey that is sustainably sourced. It has black kale and clay and some healing botanicals. It has the plantain leaf, nettle leaf, chamomile, lavender, calendula, black currant, and yarrow which are traditionally used in Russia as folk medicine. And then there's broccoli seed oil, colloidal silver, and blue tansy and she does use both the neem honey and powdered neem leaves to really get the full potency of the neem which is supposed to be really healing and antibacterial. You can use it as a mask all over your face which is what we're gonna do today and also as a spot treatment. As a mask you can rinse it off in 15 to 20 minutes to reveal a bright rejuvenated smooth and glowing skin. So let's go ahead and apply this. And this is what the mask looks like. Mine is about a quarter empty because I've used this three times already and I did decant a little bit of this and gave some to my sister-in-law. And I've only just been using my fingers to apply this to my face the first three times that I've used it. But today I'm going to use the Mahalo um, mask brush and see how that works. And as usual, I didn't bring a mirror in here so I'm just going to use the, view the viewfinder. Okay, using a brush, it goes on a lot faster because it does have kind of a liquidy consistency. Usually with honey masks, what I like to do is spritz my face with a little bit of a toner first or a rose water or the George's Aloe. But this one I don't have to. Doing the toner first, it kind of, because usually masks, honey masks are very sticky and hard to spread. But this one, since it's already kind of liquidy on its own, I don't have to do the toner first. And like I said, using this brush makes applying it so much faster. Now make sure to apply around the jawline too because this is my problem area with my hormonal breakouts. This, around that time of the month, that's where I break out the most. So that's what it looks like applied and it did say to leave on for 15 to 20 minutes. So I will be back after the time has passed and we'll wash this off.
is what my skin looks like after taking the mask off. That mask dries down. I had it on for about 40 minutes. I know it said 15 to 20, but I had it on for 40 minutes. I got caught up with what I was doing. But that mask dry dries down a little bit. Very similar to the Honua Aina mask. I've done a mask review of that one very similar to this, how I lay out all of my mask videos. It dries similarly to that where it's still a little bit sticky, like when you touch it, it, it feels a little bit sticky, but a dry sticky, like it doesn't transfer onto your fingers anymore. So you just have to introduce a little bit of water to it to really work it. Um, and get it off of your face and as you do that you get a lot of exfoliation from all of the herbs and other ingredients that are in the mask so I really like it so I feel like my skin is nice and soft and hydrated and nicely exfoliated and I really like it it's not very abrasive I know that I've become a more weary of physical exfoliators but this is like it's just very gentle but you know it's working so my my skin feels really nice. I'm just gonna spritz it with a little bit of this little guy here. It has Georges Aloe and Helichrysum and Melissa Hydrosols in here. So I'm just gonna spray that all over my face. And then I'm gonna put on this Siam Seas Sci Clear Skin Serum. We got this in the February Boxwalla box and I'm still really liking mine. I know a couple of people have um, been having trouble with theirs and mine is still staying really good and I've been using this pretty religiously because I'm really loving it so I just do two pumps onto wet skin I wet my skin pretty well with that aloe spray that I have doing it that way I feel it spreads it more see it's like come on camera focus there we go <laughs> And then I just rub that in. Really well. This still smells really good too. I love it. And then I'm going to spray a little bit more of the toner on my face. And then we're going to move on to the Flower and Spice Soothe and Repair daily moisturizer with rose and coriander and prickly pear and aloe vera. That's what the cream looks like. Again, I gave a little bit of this to my um, sister-in-law. So I just do a couple fingertips full. I just kind of dab it onto the cream and that's what it looks like. It's very um, much like a cream. It's not very thick. It feels very it smells funky. It smells like coriander. I wish I got more of the rose, but I feel like I get all the coriander and I feel like I just smell like celery. <laughs> and it is a scent that kind of lingers on my skin. So for a couple of hours, I will smell this. I am not a fan of the scent at all. It is very hydrating. So I really like that and moisturizing. I haven't felt the need to boost it with an oil. Oh my gosh, focus. Sorry, the, I had to... The mailman was here and I had to help him a little bit. Where was I? What was I saying? Um, so my thoughts on this. I have been using it morning and night and I'm not a fan of the scent. And the fact that it kind of leaves my skin feeling sticky. It is very moisturizing and hydrating but it makes my skin feel really sticky. Not like in an emollient type of way. Like as you can see, it's not, it doesn't give like a greasy look to the skin at all, but it kind of, it's tacky, like, like sticky honey. I don't know, and then it makes my skin kind of feel tight. It's not bad enough to wear, oh my gosh, I can't use this because I don't like that feeling. I mean, I can deal with it. I thought at first it was how I was playing with my other skincare, but I tried it with different combinations of my skincare, like my serum and my um, toners and stuff. But it just feels that way regardless of what I apply before and after it. So I think it's just really the cream at this point. But like I said, I'm gonna c continue using it because it's not that terrible. <laughs> you know, just a little kind of unusual. Oh, and then I forgot um, to tell you guys about the moisturizer. So this is the Flower and Spice Modern Apothecary Soothe and Repair Daily Moisturizer. It is valued at $82.
It is a rich, luxurious cream with a texture not unlike that of clotted cream. She uses rose water and rose absolute in the formula along with coriander seed oil that has antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. It has hydrating aloe vera and reparative arctic oat extract with antioxidant rich prickly pear oil and prickly pear is one of my favorite oils. It's high in vitamin E and essential fatty acids which plays a crucial role in reconstruction of the lipid barrier and healthy cell turnover. While the cream is rich and hydrating, it sinks right in with almost a matte finish. And I totally agree with that. It does, it is, like I told you guys, very hydrating and moisturizing, but it doesn't leave like a greasy feel. It just feels like I have honey on my face. A little bit of honey, which is good, I guess, because whenever I put makeup on top of it, I feel like the makeup really sticks to the stickiness that is on my face, but I feel like it goes away after a couple of hours after my own oils have emerged and kind of blends in with it. Then it's more comfortable as the day goes. But before that, like I said, for the first couple of hours, I just have this sticky feel. Like, I don't know. Like, can you see it kind of sticking to my fingers? And like I said, I will continue using it and give you guys more of a review of how it helps my skin. Um, so far, I'm just like okay about the flower and spice. Um, moisturizer but I'm really loving the Malaya um, neem mask and I feel like it's very calming and soothing to my skin especially like I told you guys um, in times like this when I am broken out so I think that is going to be it for my first impression review and demo of both of these products that came in the April box and I wanted to tell you guys that I'm really still loving the Sciences. Um, Sci Clear Skin Serum that we got in the February box. That is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!